continuing with the uh, general solution of trig equation uh, let's prove the second result if cos theta is equal to cos alpha prove that the general solution is given by theta is 2 n alpha, n pi plus alpha where n belongs to i i is a set of integers set of integers okay now this is called belongs to n belongs to i in simple language means n is a, a integer is an integer so let us start here so what we have got is uh, what this says is if cos theta can be written as cos alpha this is the condition if you can write this then you can write this general solution so i'm going to make this an equation so i can say well cos theta this is already an equation uh, i'm going to set this as equal to zero so cos theta minus cos alpha is equal to zero now this is a formula which of course you can prove and this in, should be in your formula sheets okay so it is like this cos c minus cos b is minus 2 sine c plus b over 2 times sine so this is also called a formula of sine sum sorry so if it is you can compare your c with theta and d with alpha let me change color so this becomes using this formula i can write this nothing but minus 2 sine c plus d over 2 would be theta plus alpha over 2 times sine theta minus alpha over 2 is equal to 0 okay now if they are 0 i can say this next step also is you divide both sides by 0 so i can say theta plus alpha over 2 times sine theta minus alpha over 2 is equal to 0 now as the product of two numbers or two expressions is 0 i can say this is equal to 0 therefore i can say sine of theta plus alpha over 2 is 0 or or and and you can write both you can write or or and now in the previous video i explained how if sine uh, where did i explain yeah okay so this is what i explained that if sine x is equal to zero we know x this is a sine graph so where is sine zero sine zero is at zero then you've got you can say this is zero pi this is one pi then you've got two pi three pi and so on or if you go anti-clockwise, if you go this way, it is 0 pi, minus 1 pi, minus 2 pi, and so on. So to write, if sine x is 0, I can write x has to be n pi, where n is z. In this exam, in this video, I showed uh, integer as z. You can write, in some books, they write as z. In other books, they write as i. So they are one and the same. So now, here, yeah, using that same principle, I know that sine theta is 0 at 0 pi, 1 pi, 2 pi, and so on. I can say theta plus alpha over 2 has to be n pi, okay, which is where n belongs to i. So making, let us uh, cross multiply, so theta plus alpha is 2 n alpha. So theta is 2 uh i should have written plus or minus sorry this should be plus or minus okay so theta is 2 n al n pi minus alpha so this is one answer okay and when you make this the subject so let me change color so i can say theta minus alpha over 2 is also n pi where again n belongs to I. the same thing cross multiplying uh, theta minus alpha is 2 n alpha and adding alpha to both side again your theta is 2 n alpha 
plus sorry, 2 in pi plus alpha okay so if you write this generally I can say therefore theta is 2 in pi plus or minus alpha now to show the usefulness of this well, let us do one example okay you may wonder why do we need this there's nothing you can do this is in some questions they will ask you to write the general solution so let us take an example say if questions can be like this if cos 2x is equal to say one half write the general solution write the general solution okay so the first thing that we need to do is we have to write this as a cos so cos of what is half so I know that cos of 60 is half okay of course so let me change this you can also write this if you want to write the same thing I like to think in degrees so this implies theta in terms of degrees is 360 2 pi is 360 360 n plus or minus alpha okay so we'll work in degrees which is life becomes easier so cos so this is let me bring back my brown color cos 60 is half so I, I let me show you that first those are not very sure about you should remember these values which are very useful as calculus students cos 60 I've set in degrees cos 60 is half okay so I can write half as cos 60 so using this formula uh, the general solution would be 2x theta is at 2x is 360n plus or minus alpha which is 60 so x is you can divide by 2 is 180n plus or minus 30 this is a general solution now if you want to find the particular solution between 0 to 360 to confirm whether this works so if n uh, as you know this has a period of 180 so you have to have four solutions with between 0 to 360 so if n is equal to 0 this implies your x1 is 30 okay when n is 2 n is 1 you'll have two answers x1 or x2 here yeah, would be 180 n minus 30 which is 150 and x3 is 180 plus 30 which is 210 okay when n is 2 you will have 2 but we will reject 1 if we put 2 here this is 360 minus 30 which is 360 minus 30 is 330 and uh, x5 let's write x5 3, 360 plus 30 which is 390 now we want the answer only up to 0 to 360 so we're going to reject this so so the answer that we between 0 to 360 uh, you got 30 degrees 150 degrees 210 and 330 so let's check that so graph menu graph and type in cos 2x you can uh, solve this so I want to find at x values and y is 0 0.5 so 1 is 30 the next is 150 210 and 330 